What if I told you that Martin Luther King Jr., a man celebrated for his contributions to civil rights, had a dark side? This is a question that might make many of us uncomfortable. Yet it's a question worth asking in our continuous pursuit of the truth. In the grand scheme of history, Martin Luther King Jr. is hailed as a champion of civil rights, a beacon of hope, and a symbol of resilience against racial injustice. He is best known for his I Have a Dream speech, where he envisioned a world where people are not judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. His non-violent resistance to racial segregation and his fight for equal rights have made him a revered figure in world history. However, every story has two sides, and every coin a flip side. While King's contributions to civil rights are undeniable, there are aspects of his life that are lesser known, and indeed more controversial. A side of King that, if true, might cast a shadow over his legacy. Rumors of King's sexual indiscretions have been circulating among historians for years. Yet these allegations go beyond mere infidelity. Some accounts suggest that King's indiscretions often crossed over into violence towards women. These allegations, if substantiated, present a stark contrast to the image of King as a champion of peace and equality. Our objective here is not to tarnish King's legacy, but to present a complete and honest picture. We believe that understanding the whole truth about historical figures allows us to engage more meaningfully with their legacies. It is only by acknowledging and understanding our past that we can hope to shape a better future. Now that we've set the stage, let's delve deeper into the allegations against King. King's infidelity is a well-known but often overlooked aspect of his personal life. It's a part of the narrative that's often pushed aside, overshadowed by his monumental achievements in civil rights. Yet, it's a crucial part of understanding the complex and sometimes darker side of Martin Luther King Jr. Let's delve into a specific incident that occurred on the day of King's tragic death. After delivering his last speech at the Masonic Temple, King indulged in a night of partying and found companionship with a woman he met at the party. The next morning his friend, Ralph Abernathy, woke him to address a situation with another woman who had been waiting all night for King. She was fuming, and understandably so. Abernathy bore witness to an argument between King and the woman that escalated alarmingly fast. In a shocking turn, King was seen striking the woman hard enough to catapult her to the other side of the bed. The woman hastily left the scene, leaving behind an air of tension and disbelief. This incident, however, is not a standalone event. It's part of a larger pattern where King's infidelity crossed into the realm of violence. Such incidents are difficult to digest, especially when they involve a figure as revered as King. They starkly contrast the image of the peaceful civil rights leader that he is publicly known for. Turning a blind eye to these aspects of King's personal life would be a disservice to history. It's essential to acknowledge them, not to diminish his achievements, but to paint a fuller, more nuanced picture of the man behind the legend. These incidents paint a picture of King that contrasts sharply with his public image. As we delve deeper into his life we encounter a Martin Luther King Jr. that challenges our preconceived notions, a man who like all of us was deeply flawed, complex, and human. An even darker allegation against King has recently come to light. This chilling accusation is rooted in an FBI report that alleges King was not just a bystander, but an active participant in a horrifying incident of sexual violence. The report details a night when King and several Southern Christian Leadership Conference or SCLC officials checked into Washington, D.C.'s Willard Hotel. They were not alone, but accompanied by several women referred to as parishioners. The group convened in King's room, where they began discussing which women would be suitable for natural and unnatural sex acts. One woman, however, voiced her dissent. She protested, asserting her disapproval of the situation. It was then, the report claims, that one of King's colleagues, identified by historian David Garrow as the Reverend Logan Kearse, a Baptist minister from Baltimore, forcibly raped her. And where was Martin Luther King Jr. during this horrific act? The FBI report alleges King not only witnessed the rape but actively encouraged it, even laughing as the incident unfolded. These allegations, if proven true, cast a long, haunting shadow over King's legacy. They reveal a deeply disturbing side of Martin Luther King Jr. that is often left out of the history books. It's an account that challenges our understanding of a man celebrated for his fight for equality and justice. It forces us to question, how do we reconcile the actions of a man whose contributions have been so significant, yet whose personal conduct could have been so reprehensible? 
These are hard questions and conversations to have, but it is essential that we do not shy away from them. The truth, no matter how uncomfortable, must always take precedence over convenient narratives.